Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here with Super Bowl winning tight end Jermaine Wiggins. We are going inside the Patriots playbook. Jermaine, we're going to look at something that we don't normally talk about a whole lot, uh, which is why I like this, is special teams. Mm -hmm. And the Patriots under Scotty O'Brien are normally one of the best special teams units. Mm -hmm. Very smart, heads up, goes for the whole team, really. But early on against the Bills, they got caught. Yep. Uh, they got a fake punt ran on them. It really shouldn't have happened, right? I mean, they, when you're on special teams, don't you really need to be alert of the situations mm -hmm. that, that you're in in the game and then be alert for what might happen off that? Yeah, you have to have a heightened sense of especially situation, down and distance field position. And I've played with Scotty O'Brien, and I know the attention to detail that he has as a special teams coach. In this situation, it's fourth and one, or any situation on a special teams punt or punt return team, when it's fourth and four, you have to be alert for two things. If you're on the punt team, you have to be alert as far as there could be potential fakes, you know, those type of things. And if you're on the punt return, you really have to be alert for the fake and obviously the head movement. Those are the things that you have to really focus on if you're on the punt return team, which the Patriots were. And the one thing that they did, and which kind of opened up the door for this fake, and I can't really put it on Sergio Brown because I don't know what he's supposed to be doing, but he lines up here, and what he does is he kind of disguises. He comes in here and he plays around, and at one point in time, he's lined up right here where they're going to run the fake at, but as he's lined up right there, as you start to see, he'll start to now move back into an area to come over here. So I don't know if they initially Initially, his initial alignment is I have to be on this side of the football. You have to know about directional punting, so maybe that's what they saw and Buffalo took advantage of it, and what Buffalo did is they ran a, a, a fake right to the fullback here. This guy did a good job because you'll see, I believe it's uh, Gary Guyton come down. He does a good job of pinning here. They pin this guy here. He's up the field on the rush, and this opens up a nice lane right here on fourth and one. Now, I'm willing to bet that somebody has this guy. Somebody has this guy because in, in, on a punt return team, it's called a holdup. So say he's holding up here, he's holding up here, he's holding up here. Gary Guyton could be holding up here. He's holding this guy up and he's holding this guy up or he's forcing the punt. So that now you generally it's your linebacker who's key in the fullback, especially fourth and one. So that makes me wonder a little bit what Sergio Brown was doing on this play because, like I said, he come in here, he tried to create a little disguise and then got back here, and then he kind of gets caught in no man's land as everybody starts to come up, and now they're able to hit it on fourth and one. So you have to be alert on a punt return situation of down and distance situation, especially against a team that maybe has nothing to lose in Buffalo, but it even heightens in the playoffs because you're looking for any opportunity you can't. Speaking of fake punts in the postseason, Patrick Chung last year. See what, it, see what happens when you're not successful, what mm -hmm. it can do. So. Yep. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. For Jermaine Wiggins, I'm Greg Bedard. Thanks for watching Inside the Playbook.